Well, here we have Ulu after a meal with the uh, pups, and uh, they're all moving in to get cleaned and uh, to eat. See, they're all looking great on day seven. I'll feed uh, Lulu like that a couple more times today. She'll let me know if she wants more food. She's uh, pretty good about that. The puppies uh, at seven days old are still uh, blind and deaf. They just have uh, smell and touch, but they get around pretty well. This one here is that little female I saved. You can see her color is really standing out now compared to the other ones. She's going to be a sable, I believe. Uh, like Togo and uh, Luna, who can be seen on my channel. As she gets older and older, she'll lighten up. She might even end up being a silver sable like uh, Luna, which is a beautiful color. That's a little blue female there. Blue male is here. You see, they're all uh, pretty uniform in size. There's three of them that are just a little bit bigger, but they're all pretty similar in size. It's a nice uniform litter. And, uh, cleaning him up to help him go potty. Again, she licks and stimulates them to go potty in the first couple weeks. He's like, Mom, come on, quit pinning me down. I don't want you to clean me. Not on camera. <laughs> she says, you're not getting away that easy. Mom runs a tight ship, a tight ship. She keeps them clean. See, their sense of smell is pretty incredible. After she moves, they know exactly where she is and head towards her. They know exactly where the breasts are. See, these guys are super strong and vigorous at seven days old. They get around very well. Again, she's cleaning them. Let them go potty. That box of whelping supplies there.
Now that little bit of pink you see around her mouth there, that's, all females get that. That's a urine scald and she gets that from cleaning the puppies. Again, that happens to all females. Looks like she has some pink lipstick on. But yeah, because she has to lick and stimulate them to go potty for the first week or two, that's something that happens. And you can see why right there. Because again, she's licking her to go potty and then consuming it. And that's nature's way of keeping the whelping box clean. Or the den, whichever the case may be. That's the little female I saved, the little sable one. So they go in and feed and then when they're done they crawl away to sleep away. Once they're satiated. female and uh, this is the blue male. The little sable female is under the blue male there. And then these other ones that have a brownish tint to them are the blacks. The reason why they look a little brown right now is because their undercoat is going to be kind of a brownish color and their top coat is going to be black so as that top coat grows over the uh, undercoat they will look black.
enjoying your day seven update on the puppies. They grow like weeds uh, at this stage, especially dogs that are going to be as big as these dogs. You see, they're uh, pretty squirmy when mom wants to hold them down and clean them now. She just uh, pins them down and says, You ain't going anywhere. <laughs> a good mama. That little sable one I saved, man, she's uh she's active. So well, that's all. Bye from uh, the lovely Miss Ulu, whose job is never done, and uh, the crew. See ya. Right there is my uh, Lycan Shepherd Ulu, who's got a litter of uh, seven day old puppies right now. People were uh, interested in seeing what uh, it looks like when I feed her uh, when she's got puppies and she's nursing. I feed her pretty much the exact same thing I feed her uh, when she doesn't have puppies. I just feed her a lot more of it. This is uh, one meal she's going to have today. Underneath the uh, three chicken leg quarters we've got some beef liver. Again on top of that are three chicken leg quarters, uh, three uh, sweet peppers, and uh, an egg. I'll let you see your feast. Looking at a dog over there barking at her in the neighbor's yard. You can see she doesn't uh, she doesn't play around when it comes to eating. <laughs> she always loves to take it over onto the grass. I'm not quite sure why. Again, there's a neighbor over there with the dog. Coming over to tell me thank you for the meal. She went through those uh, three leg quarters pretty quick. My dogs love sweet peppers. They eat them like candy. Oh, good girl. Again, she's coming over to say thank you for her food.
Now that she's got puppies, she's blowing some of her coat on the lower half of her body. You see a little bit of that hair on her leg there. Eating up that liver and uh, the egg. The egg with the shell is a complete nutritional package for your dog. If you're going to feed your dog eggs, you want to feed them the shell too. For those who will ask about the raw chicken bones, raw bones are perfectly safe for your dog. It's only cooked bones that are dangerous. I'll uh, provide several links in the video description regarding that if you'd like to learn more. Uh, I don't need any hyperbolic comments uh, from people telling me how I'm uh, killing my dogs. They're uh, all quite healthy. It's a diet called the BARF diet created by Dr. Ian Billinghurst. Uh, BARF is an acronym for uh, Biologically Appropriate Raw Foods. Again, plenty of links in the description if you'd like to learn more. Well, Miss Ulu is going to go back in and see the pups. That's all. See ya. This right here is my new Teespring store. We've got uh, four new logo designs and uh, also our grilling design. This is the first one, the red hand logo. We uh, sell it in uh, a sweatshirt. That's the front. In the back, we have multiple colors. Also sell it in uh, t-shirts. women's sweatshirts, fanny pack, cups. For those inclined, uh, there's even a mask. Tank tops, women's tank top, women's flowy tank top. Again, lots of products in that design. Again, that's the back, that's the front. The next design is the uh, Brotherhood design. This is the back of the shirt. The front has the uh, logo right there. That's in many different uh, products, sweatshirts, multiple colors. Fanny pack many colors, cup, and t-shirts, multiple colors, women's tanks, women's leggings, again lots of products, that's the Brotherhood logo. We also have the uh, Red Hand uh, Elder Futhark logo, that's the front of the shirt, that's the back, available in multiple colors. got an Alpha Din version. It's got a paw print and a tear rune there. Comes in multiple colors. Again, the Alpha Din shirt. Fanny pack. Multiple colors. Cups. Tank top. Women's flowy tank top. Again, we have multiple colors of everything. Again, that's the uh, Red Elder Futhark logo. Right here we have the, the White Hand uh, Elder Futhark logo. Uh, this is a woman's shirt. Comes in multiple colors. Men's t-shirts. Multiple colors. Got uh, sweatshirts. Women's slowy tank top. So again, those are the four designs on our store. If you're looking for a good way to support the channel, this is a way to do it and get something cool in return. We appreciate you just watching our videos, but if you'd like to do more, this is a way you can do it and again, like I said, get something in return. Thanks a lot. You'll find a logo to uh, the store in the video description. That's all. Bye.